At this time, those who are joining the church come forward at this time. Congregation, 
and will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness. I will. This is also to the congregation, members of the household of God, I commend these persons to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. We give you thanks for all that God has already given you, and we welcome you to Christian love as members together we believe in you in the body of Christ and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church. We renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our kindness, and our service, and our witness that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. The God of all grace, the God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace and peace. Amen. And we're going to agree in prayer. Please lift your hands. Everybody with you guys. Christy, I know you with oil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Christy Michelle. The Holy Spirit work within you, my sister, that you, having been born to water in the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. All God's people said, Amen. Amen. Michael, I anoint you with oil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit work within you. That having been born of water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All God's people said, Amen. Amen. Linda, I know you with oil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Linda, the Holy Spirit, work within you. That you being born of water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. All God's people said. Amen. Amen. Let us officially welcome Linda, Mike, and Christy. Well, you don't have to, but you're you are welcome if you like to if you like to say anything. Yeah, I want to say something. I was born Catholic, Methodist. Fairview Church I went to, Presbyterian, <laughs> and, you know, and yeah, I've been all sorts of things, it's a, a physical, but the Methodist Church right here, I always wanted to join because I, my mother-in-law used to live in Cinnamons and where I'm living. You guys are a great bunch of people. I made a lot of friends. Amen. <laughs> anything about my disabilities it, it takes a lot sometimes for me to come here Amen. with the disabilities that I have and all of you have been so kind as to be welcoming I've been to many churches as dad said but God said this is your house because for a long time I never really felt like I was welcome inside a church this, this church, everyone is so friendly. And thank you for your friendly welcome. And I'm so glad to be a member. And I tell you, it, it feels so good to be a member here. So I've come a long way from, and I'm seven years sober from alcohol. And I'm so thankful to talk to a lot of people with encouragement. So if I can be of any help to anyone, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Amen. I say that I say I say no, I say that because I've been to a church where I was shunned. Amen. Because of my disability. Amen. So I, I I wanted to make that point. Thank you. And it's very well taken and very much appreciated. Amen. 
No pressure, Linda. <laughs>
Lord, we thank you that you're a God who can cause the sea to still, the earth to shake, and you're also the God of the still, small voice. Help us, Lord, just to, in the silence right now, may we be still and know that you're a God. God, we ask you for forgiveness of our sins. We ask you for new life. For anyone who uh, ends up listening, Lord, or uh, on, a, on our website, Lord, we just pray you have a blessing. Bless everyone here, Lord, that we may be a blessing in the kingdom of God. On this Pentecost Sunday, we pray that you meet with each of us in a special way. That you would enable us, God, to walk the heights of life. That you would give us safe passage over the mountains. You would be with us in a special way. We pray for our president, vice president, our governor, our senators who serve, our congressmen, Lord. We love you and we need you. We pray for guidance for our country. We pray for our bishop. We pray for our district superintendent, we pray for Bishop John and our district superintendent, Hector. We pray for your leadership and guidance, God. Help the church to be a part of you. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Be with our good neighbor, outreach God. Lead us and guide us. We ask in your name and for every name I've mentioned this morning, Lord, we pray that you just add a blessing. To your name we pray, God, we love you and we need you. Help us to hear your word this morning and apply it to our lives. We ask this in your name, God. If you have taught us, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, 